English Theatre College of Arts and for Women. Today we are going to see literary criticism for BA English third year major. Let's see the unit 4 and 5. We have already seen unit 1, 2, 3 in previous video. The topic covers in unit 4 are the romantic revolt and it was written by William Wordsworth and the Victorian Compromise. It was written by Matthew Werner. He was a famous American critic and his works were like a Dover Beach. He was a romantic poet too. The unit 5 topic consists of modern British criticism. It was uh, deals with the British works and British literature in modern era. And that means in the recent era. That was around the time period of 1990s around. It was a recent emerging uh, criticism in modern British literature, criticism. The Age of Interrogation, it was written by T.S. Eliot. You are well known of the T.S. Eliot. The work was Wasteland. You have already stayed in the Wasteland. Second, the Practical Criticism. I.A. Richards, Ivan Anderson Richards. The Practical Criticism deals with the work in practical manner. That was not in theory, theoretical. It deals in the practical approaches. How to read a book, how to break the text, how to convey the meaning, how to gather the meaning. That was discussed in the Practical criticism, it was written by in I.A. Richards. The poem analysis, we are well known about the, the how to be a creative critic means the poem analysis. The poem analysis is the main art, the art of analyzing the poem. It also important to how to analyze the poem and finding the general and detailed meaning inside the behind parts of the poem. Also intention and techniques used by the poet in the poem. It also deals with the poem analysis. Because when you are critiquing in the poem, we are well known about the background and the intention and the techniques in the particular poem, how the author writes in it. Second, the prose analysis. The prose is the next part of the poem. If you analyze the poem, it appreciates the of language. Every prose language, like uh, uh, Matthew Bernard and uh, Addison C. Lessage, back as Lessage, always the prose has separate style of language. It was unique from the poem and novels. Uh, when we are analyzing the prose, we only need to appreciate the language and manner of writing, in which manner the author was writing, and the literary technique, how the poem has the simile metaphor, as same the prose has some of the techniques, like a plot, summary, like that. The cultural and the philosophical context. Eliot lived through the time of significant and intellectual and the traditional values, beliefs were being the questioned and revalued. This era marked of departure from the certainties of the past, especially the age of interrogation deals with the cultural and philosophical text. It was not a theoretical text, it was cultural and philosophical text. Eliot believed through a time of significant and intellectual appeal. It deals with the traditional values also. The age of interrogation particularly deals with the modern concerns, a modernist poet. Eliot was deeply engaged with the fragmentation. You are well known of the word fragmentation and his poetry often reflects in it. The sense of disillusionment is present. The last part is the practical criticism. It was written by I.A. Richards. I.A. Richards is a reference of Ivor Armstrong Richards, a prominent literary critic and a rhetorician. His influential book title under the practical criticism. It was first published in 1921. That is a recent work. It was around published in nearly 90 years around only. The Richards work is development of the new criticism. The other formalist approaches in result analysis also. Uh, specifically, practical criticism deals about the practical technology and the practical problems how to break the text in the literary. Each approach has its advantage and limit limitations too. Likewise, the literature has also advantages and limitations to break the text. But it plays an important role in the study of enjoyment of the literature. Because